Hi, this is Karen. Welcome to DoLallyCrafts.com. This is my YouTube channel. I'm a card maker who's based in Mornington, Victoria. And um, I have this card today to show you how to make. Everybody who comments on the video, either here on YouTube or over on my blog, goes into the drawer to actually win the kit. Now it's got an envelope in here, it's got the base card, all the makings, but I have already punched out the butterfly and you have the scallop circle there as well. Okay, so if you comment on the video here on YouTube or over on my blog, you go into the drawer to win this kit yourself. This card was designed similarly to the one for the Clard class. If you go over and read the blog post about this, you'll understand where this card came from and why I made it. Anyway, enough of that, let's get on. For this card, we're using Teeny Tiny Sentiments, um, which has got a lot of um, greetings for the fronts of cards, absolutely gorgeous fonts. And they're just small and petite and they look really nice on cards. So teeny tiny sentiments and the one we're using is uh, Thinking of You, which is just here. Now the other card, the other stamp set we're using is Papillon Potpourri. As I said, I can't send a stamped image of the butterfly through the mail as part of the kit, but this is the one that I'm using. So if you have Papillon Potpourri, um, you could um, make this card yourself as long as you've got the supplies. And this is the butterfly that we'll be using today. As you can see, it's an absolutely stunning card. So let's get on with it. Okay, we start off with the base card. All the measurements can be found on the blog post that I put together for this card. So we start off with the card blank. Now I haven't got any stamp and dimensionals at the moment. I'm waiting for a delivery. So I'm just having to use these really, really um, cheap and nasty ones just to demonstrate with, uh, but you'll get the gist of it. And hopefully by next week, any cards that I put together on video, I'll be able to use proper stamp and dimensionals for. So we've got the foam tape on the back there. And this piece is just um, a quarter inch all around, smaller than the base card. Okay, so we just peel all the backings off of these little foam pads. And when I send out this small piece in the card kit, it has already been embossed. So you don't need to worry about that if you haven't got a big shot. So there we go. We've got that piece on. Now, this piece measures uh, three inches by three and a half inches. So you find the middle, which is at approximately one and a half inches, and you only go up about three quarters of an inch into the paper to make the flag. So we start from the end or from the corner and we go in on both sides and there we go we've created our flag very easily this is if you don't have we do actually have banner framelits but if you don't have them yet that's just an easy way to flag so there we go and now I thought I had a second pack I use a lot of dimensionals on this card Okay, so I always put one in the middle so that it doesn't sag. Oh, almost knocked my water over then. That would have been a real catastrophe. It means I would have made had to make this card four times on video because the videos that I'd done previously, one wasn't lit very well. The other one, everything was filmed off camera or every all the actions were done off camera so here we go this is our third time lucky hopefully so there we go our banners now on now for the stamping Bermuda Bay ink 
and our Papillon Potpourri Floral Butterfly. And we have to stamp it sort of centre of the paper because we've got to be able to punch it out with the two and three eighths scallop circle punch. Now I like to line the butterfly up so that it's fairly centered there. So punch that out. Get rid of that piece of scrap. The scallop circle punch is actually being discontinued. You will see why when the new catalogue comes out. Speaking of which, if you would like a new catalogue for 2016, leave a message for me on my blog or pop me off an email and um, I will get you a catalogue. I would love to have the opportunity to become your demonstrator. So just send it off an email to me and we'll get right on to that. Okay, we've now punched out the butterfly from the scallop circle. So what do we need? More dimensionals. When do we need them? Now. So we just pop some around the punched out butterfly so that the scallop circle doesn't collapse. So we just peel the backing off those. Whoops. There we go. Bring the card back in and we will pop that in the middle of the banner like so. Now with the butterfly itself we'll bend the wings up and you can see there's a fairly straight area just there where the body is. So I'll pop that down for a moment. Another dimensional we need and what I will do with this one I need actually there's one more left on there I need two layers of this dimensional on the body of the butterfly so we'll stick that one there like so and then peel off whoops peel off the backing of that one and peel off the backing on the back of the butterfly and we'll stick one to the other so now there's a double layer of foam behind the butterfly Bend his wings up a little bit and then we can just pop him there. So now he actually looks like he's rising out of the banner and out of the scallop circle. Now I haven't got many of these left either after filming four separate versions of this card. These really small rhinestones are on strips of glue. You can cut out how many or count out how many you want and then either use your scissors or a craft knife as I'm doing and just lift them off. So you've got them in a, a row there and now go to the center of your butterfly and there we go. You've now Got a bit of bling on the card just where the center of the butterfly is. Now one last thing for this card is the sentiment for the front. So once again out with the Bermuda Bay. Now I've got all of the blocks in the set but some people only have a couple of sizes. You don't need to get the really small one if you're using small sentiments. As you can see, I have the small sentiment on a huge block, but I'm not going to stuff up the, um, the actual stamping of it because it's at the end of the block. If I'd have put it in the middle and then stamped with it, there's a chance I might have rocked the stamp as I put it down. But because I've got it on the end of the stamp there, when I tap it, onto the ink pad. I'm not going to get any extra ink around it because I've used it right at the end there. And it's the same when I'm popping it on. There's no rocking involved and it's perfect stamp every time. No messing. 
It took me a while to figure it out, but now that I have, I'm just so pleased with the way my stamping has come along. As you can see, I've got glue all over the end of these scissors now from these cheap and nasty foam pads. Okay, last dimensional. Pull the foam pad off there. We'll pop it on the back there. Oh, that was the one thing I forgot to do. In the original card, I went around the edge of the small banner and just put a little bit of the Bermuda Bay all around the flag. It just means that when it goes onto the white background, it's more defined from the background. Even though it's popped up, it can get hidden. Whereas if we stick it there and stick it under, it stands out more. So there we go. One more thing, just one more basic jewel, and we just pop it there to make it look as though the banner's been held on by something. So there's the one I showed you earlier, and there's the new one. As you can see, I'm going to have a lot of thinking of you cards. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to keep up with what's going on at Dual Alley Crafts and with Stampin' Up, please feel free to join my newsletter. There's um, a newsletter subscription tab on my website, which is doolallycrafts.com. Please feel free to leave a message and go into the draw for the kit to make this card yourself. Have a good day or night wherever you are. See you soon. Bye bye.